Polk County Fire Rescue provides advanced life support transport to all residents and visitors of Polk County. It also provides fire suppression, rescue services, and fire prevention services to all of unincorporated Polk County and the municipalities of Eagle Lake, Polk City, Mulberry, Lake Hamilton, and Hillcrest Heights. They have two open houses coming up that you want to check out, and all the details are coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Jeremy Moretti. And with me today, we've got uh, two wonderful folks from uh, Polk County Fire Rescue, uh, Rosa Lalonde, who is our public education officer uh, for Polk County Fire Rescue, and Chris Jonquier, who is our public information officer. Uh, thank you guys for coming in. Thanks for having us. You guys got a, a lot you. of stuff going on right now. and October's busy. October's yes. busy for fire prevention and fire education. Yeah, well, let's jump right in. What do you got going on? You got two... We got two open houses, open houses yep. and this month is fire prevention month. So we, I hate to say celebrate it, but we want to take that time to educate it mm -hmm. and we can also enjoy it. Um, this year's theme is not every hero wears a cape, plan and practice your fire escape. So that is kind of the educational message. Uh, we'll be doing two. The first one is this coming Saturday, October 5th. And that'll be in the Bartow rifle range area. And we'll give all those addresses later. Sure. And then the next week on October 12th, we'll actually be up at Lake Marion. Um, that's in the Kissimmee area. Mm. We're going to have lots of activities from bounce houses to the safety house to a kid's firefighter challenge. They're a little too young at five and six years old to try out for a job, but they can start practicing. Sure. So we'll do a little challenge for them. We'll have stop the bleed education, check, call, compress education. Um, we'll have some trick-or-treat snacks for everybody. So it'll just be a good time a time to meet your firefighters, visit, and look at some of the trucks and apparatus we have also. All right. Well, let's roll that back a little bit and kind of take a little bite piece at a time. Now, you know, setting your fire escape plan. Mm -hmm. This is something you want to sit down and do with your family. Right. Just like you make plans for other activities, this is an important event that you need to take time and study with your family at your home and then if you go stay two weeks at the beach you need to do the same thing there or if you go to grandma's house they need to know that too so two ways out um, always know a door or and a window um, and work with the kids on how to do that we'll always tell them to get out meet outside don't come looking for a parent you get out stay out okay now um, working through the the uh, two open house events that you have coming up uh, I know, you know, we're not going to put them to work just yet, but uh, some of the, the other things that you had mentioned, Stop the Bleed. Mm -hmm. Can you get into a little bit of that And for the folks that don't know? Right. Stop the Bleed is just exactly that. It's how to stop life-threatening bleeding. We know, unfortunately, in a lot of incidents that we've seen in our country, um, the deaths have been because of uncontrolled bleeding. Waiting for fire and EMS is not going to work because of the delays with time, with dispatch, with safety issues, with clearing the scene. It's really not your first responder. It's your immediate responder who's sitting to the left and the right of you. So it's just an opportunity to kind of give you a commercial of the entire class that we offer of how to stop the bleed using a tourniquet, using direct pressure in a life-threatening emergency. Okay. Now, what are some of the other paces you're going to put the, the, the smaller ones through? Well, that's for the adults to so stop yeah, the bleed yeah. pretty much. <laughs> Same with the hands-only CPR, kind mm -hmm. of an adult setup. Now, with the kids, they'll have an opportunity to go through the um, fire challenge, and it'll start with they can put gear on, of course, size-appropriate gear. So and we're not going to put them in, like, the full bunker gear no, of a... Uh, just a jacket. <laughs> it's hot. Just yeah. a jacket. <laughs> um, and then they'll get the opportunity to um, put water on the fake fire which is really just an orange cone so mm -hmm. it's safe and they'll get to drag the dummy which is a big teddy bear and they'll get to chop some wood which of course will be safe it's not really chop it's really hit it with a mallet and several opportunities to climb a ladder it's only two foot off the ground so it's okay and we'll have one of our fire cadets as a partner because we do everything in pairs mm -hmm. so they'll be paired up with one of our cadets 
So I think it'll be a good time. It'll be fun. It'll be some get some energy and excitement out. All right. Run us through. What are the times on the, the events? 10 to 2. Okay. 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Both locations, 10 to 2. All right. Sounds good. And, Chris, you've got uh, some plans this month for social media, right? I do. Uh, I'll be putting all of the information for this on social media, and then we'll also uh, document it as well. Uh, it's a great family uh, uh, event, so bring out the family, uh, bring out the kids. They, you know, they can uh, see the apparatuses. I mean, what kid doesn't like to play on a fire truck? And what adult and, doesn't like to play yeah, on a exactly. fire truck? I mean, come on. <laughs> um, and you know, there's a lot to learn. It's not only um, for the kids. We also have. Uh, you know, a CERT table. So mm -hmm. if you want to come out and find out about CERT or any of the other things that we offer as a department, that's a great place to do it in a fun environment too. So you can bring your family and have them entertain while you learn about CERT, I guess. Um, and um, it, it's it's just a great family event to come out and spend, spend an hour or two and, and get to meet, you know, the firefighters and see what they do. Yeah, and it's a fun time. You know, you put the name and a face together mm -hmm. so now it's kind of more of a neighborhood type mm -hmm. thing right more ingrained with the community and you really learn you know who those folks are that you know might come out and help you and with us putting everything on facebook we can get everybody to share 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 it with your friends share it with your schools share it with your enemies i don't care just share it with everybody <laughs> <laughs> well and and it is i mean you you put a number of things together for public education that you know go on there that we you know like folks to know about mm -hmm. it's not just yeah what calls we go on or, or whatnot. Right. It's always, I'm um, always putting stuff on there, all the events that we have, uh, you know, when Rosa and her department offer classes, free classes mm -hmm. to the to the public, those go up on there on time and place of when they're going to be. Um, you know, also all the other activities that we do. And, you know, I also put on their safety messages. So it's a good place to go and check out, uh, you know, some information, whether it's you want to come to an event or whether you want to find out, you know, what is the best uh, you know, what are some safety tips for walking to school every day or, you know, for going for a swim on the weekend? What kind of safety tips do you want to have around your pool? Okay. Well, sounds like a, a great time for folks to come out and check out what you guys are doing. We're looking forward to it. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming in and talking to us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Always a pleasure. Polk County Fire Rescue invites you to two open house events. The first is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on October 5th at Station 19 at Peace Creek, at 5361 Rifle Range Road in Bartow. The second event is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on October 12th at Lake Marion Creek, Station 46 at 9500 Marigold Avenue in Point Siena. Bounce houses, a safety house, Sparky, photo ops with the firefighters, engine and station tours, and safety training are just a few of the things on the agenda. For more information, you can give them a call at 863- 519-7350 or look them up on the web at www.polk-county.net forward slash polkfire.